Welcome back to In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Sharla Brown, and on today's show, we've been talking with Thunder Bay Counseling. My next guests are from Financial Counseling. We have Karen Shally, she's a financial counselor, and Sherry Fada, who's the manager of Education and Support Services. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. So how long has Thunder Bay Counseling been offering financial counseling? Well, Thunder Bay Counseling originally launched credit counseling 40, 45 years ago in wow. Thunder Bay. And so we've got a long, long history of providing impartial financial information. But over the years, the services really started to evolve because as credit counseling implies, it was a lot of information around credit products and how to repay debt and things like that. But we found people really needed more knowledge in the areas of how to just manage money, how to mm -hmm. cope with day-to-day -day expenses. And so financial counseling has continued to evolve. Wonderful. And that's not necessarily something that we were taught in school, you know, like exactly. I remember moving up here to go to college and then all of a sudden you have to budget things and learn how everything, what paying your bills and all that kind of thing. So those are the kind of things that you offer as well. Yes, exactly. And so recently there's been an expansion though. Um, in March of this year, it was announced that we were one of five organizations with a local partner, Lakehead Social Planning Council, selected to be an Ontario Financial Empowerment Champion in part of a uh, provincial project funded by the Government of Ontario. And what that, that does is allow us to do more services, provide more access, more hours available to be able to help people really achieve a different level of financial health, work with low income populations and really provide more information mm -hmm. to help them look at their finances in a different way. Right, absolutely, which is so important because there's so many people who live in our community that it comes down to, do I pay the hydro this month or do I go buy groceries, yeah. right? So learning how to maybe best use that dollar, stretch that dollar, some of the other maybe services that's available in the community for people to be able to access. I'm sure you do all that kind of stuff. We do, and you know, the biggest thing I think to realize is that people's health includes their financial health. Mm -hmm. And so we're really looking at how do we do additional services, how do we provide additional support that really helps people to be financially well. Right. and comfortable with their finances. Absolutely. So let's talk about what's new uh, about the program. Or well, is those the new things? Yeah, new that, that's really the big thing. Um, through that, we've been able to add on to some of the services that uh, I know Karen will describe in, in a little bit more detail for you then. Wonderful. And what is the goal of the Ontario Financial Empowerment Champions Program or, or project? project. Or tell me a little bit about that. It's really that. It's a, um, each organization has been chosen in a different locale. And so it's about finding local solutions, really working with our, in our own communities, knowing our own communities so that we can develop solutions and uh, accumulate information and resources that's tailored to our population and really be providing those so that people in our community get to achieve a different level of financial health, continue to receive that impartial information, but in a wider array of topics. So we've got more reach, more services, and more tools available to everybody. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, let's talk about the, what some of the services provide that are provided through financial um, counseling. So I can answer that question. So Sherry was talking about, we started out doing um, a debt management program, which we still have, and doing credit counseling. But, you know, as you were saying when you came up for school, that that's just not enough. Like when people talk about their finances and things that concern them, that it's more than just credit counseling. So, and this is what's part of the program, and that's why we're here today to talk about this we talk we we still offer that but we offer financial liter literacy training so that's in the form of one-on-one -on -one counseling and we'll also be doing sessions that a group can come to as well and we'll be advertising those we offer information so we don't sell anything but we offer information about RESPs which are so, which are sorry registered education education savings plans uh, so saving for your children for their education for the future we provide information on financial services so different sorts of banking services that not everybody knows a lot about so we help kind of give impartial um, objective information about services so people can kind of make information based on what's best for them we help with budgeting and spending plans which you, know, you were just saying that that's something you might benefit from that's probably the thing that our clients benefit the most by like going through the tools which we have a variety of and we'll, we can share those with clients depending on what their needs are and we offer um, information on tax clinics so if you are below a certain income level you can go to a tax preparation clinic and get your taxes prepared for free um, and that also links in with the income support programs and benefits that clients can be um, eligible for that they need to prepare their taxes for so sort of linking it all together um, just have to look at my notes to see if I forgot anything. 
I think through all of this too, one of the goals we're always looking at is are there ways to help people put more money in their pocket? Mm -hmm. So you know, with the registered education savings plan, for example, many families can access a Canada Learning Bond free simply because they open up the yes. savings plan for their children. We talk to people about their banking. Um, not that we offer bank accounts, but to look at what do you really need and mm -hmm. are you paying for more than you actually need. Absolutely. We do that with your day-to-day -day bills. You kind of mentioned those. You, yes. Are you paying for services you don't need? Are you paying more for services than what you're really using? Yeah. So really helping people to look at their finances in a different way yes. and hopefully at the end of the day having a little bit more money in their pocket. Absolutely. And even things as simple as um, preparing and getting your taxes done because a lot of programs and services are based on the fact that you filed your tax return. So there could be uh, services that people could uh, access, but because if they're not filed up to date or haven't done that, um, and just knowing that they need to do that. So not, not everybody's you know telling you those kind of things, so it's nice to have a resource that does that. Mm -hmm. um, so who would uh, benefit from these programs? Really anyone and everyone. We work with people across our community at any age, any stage of their life, any income level. You don't have to have a lot of money just to come and see us. It's really about helping you to understand, understand what you have and what you can work with. And we're not looking to make huge changes in people's finances. We're looking to help them make their own changes that work for them. This is all about what are your goals and how do we help you work on that. Absolutely. And they, are these all one-on-one -on -one counseling services or do you offer workshops and things like that that people can, can attend in, say, an evening or something like that? We do both. Do both. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And so if people were looking to find out information about, um, you know, workshops or things that's going on, is all that stuff available on the website? Is that the best place to find those kind of things? Go on our website and we also have a Facebook page, so to follow that. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. So what can somebody expect from financial counseling? What, what does that, those kind of meetings and services, what does it look like? So normally they're one-on-one, -on -one, so we do a lot of that. So you would call, if you were interested, you would call the office and you would talk to either myself, I'm a financial counselor, or the other staff in the office or front reception. They'll gain some typical basic information. We'll make an appointment and then when you come to see me, we'll ask you to bring like any relevant information that you want to talk about, whether it's a credit card or your bills or trying to save for something. So we'll ask to bring that in and you'll do a little more paperwork when you get there. Then we sit down and we talk about, you know, what you're doing, what are your goals, what have you tried, what's not really working to really get out what uh, your goals are for the session, whether it's just one session or a series of sessions. And you really drive, as a client, you really drive the direction that that will go. So depending on what you really need, we'll provide you the tools or the information or maybe do a follow-up session. So it's all confidential. We do it in our office, so it's all confidential and it's really directed towards the information that you're looking for. Absolutely. And uh, what is the cost to receive financial counseling? Is there a charge involved with it? Well, we're very privileged. So with the Ontario Financial Empowerment Champions Project, we've got some funding from the government of Ontario, so that's helped to support our services. We actually have funding from the United Way of Thunder Bay, so we're really privileged to have that support us as well. And we do get some donations that help work towards funding the program. So people can come in, they get that full assessment, they get the tools, resources, all of that is free. Right, and I can imagine for some people, because fi your finances can be a huge stress in your life, mm -hmm. um, that you have some incredible success stories. So it, is there a client story that maybe you can share that um, made a really big difference in somebody's life? Sure. Now, because it's confidential, I can share some general things. But, you know, a client that uh, stands out is a client that was on an income support program. So not a lot of extra money there, but still had the same goals and financial responsibilities that a lot of us have on varying incomes. And um, when I met the client, you know, they had different challenges in their life, but still had short term goals and different goals that they wanted to meet. So we were able to sit down and kind of break it down, which this client really needed. And um, even working within that income, we were able to kind of break down, well, if we broke it down in short, medium and long term goals that, you know, that made it a little bit easier. And, and for that client, it was important to meet on a regular basis so we could go over it and took over the successes and the challenges. And to this day, the client is doing really well, meeting all the short term goals and getting on to the next stage of them and really pleased with the service and saying that, you know, that's the best they've ever done, the furthest they've ever done. So even within that income, the limitation of the income sometimes, that they're still able to accomplish the things that are important to them. So that's a great story. Yeah, mm -hmm. it sure is a great story. And that's the thing is like just having somebody that you can talk to about it. You know, sometimes our problems can seem overwhelming. So when you have somebody who can give you some options and that once we know better we can do better right very good yes wonderful so uh, how do people find you if they're looking to find services get in touch with the program what's the best way to do that well our office is located at 544 winnipeg avenue so we're just off memorial so it's important to know where we are 
Um, but we have one main line. Uh, our main telephone number, 684-1880, gets to any of the services our organization provides, which is nice. We still have a live receptionist that can direct your call. Um, and our website, www.tbaycounseling.com, has lots of information on our programs and services, provides us with avenues to uh, link you to our Facebook page, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all of those avenues. We try to put as much information through them to the public as we can. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you, Karen and Sherry, for being on the show today, telling us about all the programs and services of financial counseling at Thunder Bay Counseling and all the guests today. You guys run a ton of programs and services there, and I, I'm sure we just touched on uh, as much as we could today, as much as we can in a half hour show. So great work that you're doing over there. And if anybody needs any uh, programs or services, be sure to get a hold of them. I want to thank everybody for watching today and be sure to watch next week with more on In Your Neighborhood.